Hi everyone, this is Val and this is another in my junk journaling on a shoestring series. This one again, like the last one, is about op shops, but this time specifically to hardcover books. There are just so many of them in the op shops and they just struggle to get rid of them all and sometimes they'll have them on super specials. Like I got um, a special just recently where any five books was a dollar. So that's 20 cents each. So I picked up quite a few. Um, like this little one, it's uh, perhaps not a special book in itself, it's just text and there's a few pictures in there that might be useful if I do one on um, steampunk or something like that, that might work. Uh, but the pages will be used. Look at that, I actually like that ex liberis, um, I think that's how you say it, uh, thing in the front. So this would be a good book to repurpose. Here's one I've actually already taken out the, the middle part of the book and just I've already reinforced the spine ready to um, put the, the new journal pages in here and that can be done in a couple of ways but we'll cover that in a later video. So here's another one I got, I got this just yesterday I think I paid 50 cents for this one. So it's quite a nice book um, but what I look for when I'm at the op shop is I actually just have a quick look underneath that, that um, dust colour which may end up being discarded although you know I can usually find something to do with that as well. But the book itself has got a beautiful colour, so with a bit of embellishing that will make a beautiful junk journal colour. It's a good size, nice big spine there, but look at this, look at the beautiful pages inside. I just love them, they're kind of, it's a big page, it's nice thick paper, it's a lovely story so you know it's not going to be rude words or horrible um, violence or anything like that in it. So they'll be great for ephemera and I just love the vintagey look of them. And with the book I also look to see if it will be easy to take the, the, the book part out. You want something where when you pull back those, sorry, when you pull back those um, pages you can see that all you would have to do is one cut down either side there and this whole section will come out. The cover can then be repurposed as a journal cover and you've got all those gorgeous pages to work with for making ephemera. Here's another book I got yesterday. I think I might have paid just a little bit more for this. It could have cost me a whole dollar. Um, but look at this. Look how gorgeous the images are of roses in this one. It's a very big book so it's going to be a challenge to find a cover uh, size that will accommodate that pages even when they're folded in half. Um, so yes it's probably going to be about, oh I don't know, we'll see I'll, what I'll do with it. But I can't cut those pages down. I feel like I'll have to use them folded in half in a journal. So a lot of those will go into a journal just like they are. But some of the others can be fussy cut for, sorry you can't even see it, it's so huge, can be fussy cut for, um, for ephemera and trims and so forth. Look at that, look at these beautiful pictures. Look at them, gorgeous, gorgeousness. Everywhere they're gorgeousness. So that's another way to, um, to think of your op shop um, as a source of great books that can be used. These will be used as book pages, they'll be used as a trim and ephemera. We can make envelopes and tags out of them if we wish. And the cover itself can also be used to make a cover for your journal. So do check out your op shop. Bye.